Welcome to the stadium. It is the side for today's Big Ten matchup between the Badgers of Wisconsin and the Iowa Hawkeyes. George Murphy will kick off for the Hawkeyes, number six, and we are underway. Dan Kissling and Nate Odoms are deep. It's Odoms at the 20, across the 25, still on his feet, trying to get outside, and finally ridden out of bounds at the 32-yard line for Wisconsin. And the pitch goes right, weaving and bobbing his way up the middle. The Panthers line up in the eye, Armand Trout in the backfield along with Hartley. And a short pass is complete to Artley. Artley still on his feet. The Hawks defense, uh, one of the best in the country, led by Joe Mott, had an outstanding game last week against Michigan State. Of course, Jeff Dross, you can't say enough about the nose guard, Dave Haight. John Breeze lines up at right tackle, and Bruce Gear, a Madison, Wisconsin native, lines up on the right side. A first down, it's first and 10 at the 46. Another long count by the Badgers. Joe Armantrout stacked up at the 48-yard line. George Davis made the stop. He's one of the Hawks' outstanding linebackers along with Dan Worth. Ken Sims, who had that immaculate interception to save the ball game last week against Michigan State, is the left corner. Kerry Burke, Kyle Crow, and Keaton Smiley, the rest of that backfield. Sims, uh, the lone returner coming back. Second down and nine. Loan back now for the Badgers. Little swing pass goes to Artley, and he is cut down by Anthony Wright. And the first down, the ball marked at the 50-yard line. Reginald Tompkins in motion. And Keyes throws the interception right into the hands of Jeff Cross. Cross motoring down to the nine-yard line. Oh, my, Dross, what a gift. <laughs> and that could be the inexperience of a younger quarterback. This is every lineman's dream, that the pressure is being put on by Bob there. Emory does, does a good job, Keys does a good job of getting off, but it's right into the hands of Dross, and there you see him rambling downfield, showing great speed here, and outrunning. This is the race of a century there, Jeff Dross. Back is Tom Paholski, number 14, filling in for the injured Mark Vlasic. On first down, the Hawks go to Rick Bayless. Bayless down to the five. Actually, his brother, Kevin. Clark lines up tight on the left side. Again, the cause to Bayless. He's in for the score. After an interception by Jeff Dross, the Hawks take two plays to get on the board. 6-0 Iowa. This is the one thing the Badgers can ill afford is to, to let this Hawkeye offense score as quick as they have because this game can get out of hand real quickly with returns like that. Rob Houtlin with the point after. He had been perfect till last week, then missed two was going for the record of 41 in a row at Iowa and missed. He gets this one, though, and it is Iowa 7, Wisconsin nothing. We'll be back on Sports Vision. This is something Murphy was successful with against Michigan State, the squib kick. Dan Kisling picked it up at about the 20, J-yard line of the Badgers. Again, it is Artley and Armadrout in the backfield. They line up in the eye. Stack it up at the line of scrimmage. Second down and eight. Armand Trout straight up the middle. Found that out last week, and the, the Badgers are finding it out pretty early. They can't afford that. Third down and two. Keys will go to the air. He's got time. And incomplete. Suddenly. P.B. Marciano is back at the 10-yard line. Scott Sapecki, the puncher, one of the best in the country, gets off a high arching kick here taken by Kyle Crow.
First and 10 from the 28. Boholski goes to the air and across the middle. Mike Flag is hit hard as he crosses the 50 down to the 48, but Flag's doing well for himself this year. Kevin Harmon is in the game now. Craig Clark. A loss of five that time. It is second down and 15. Robert Smith is in wide left at the bottom of your screen. And a whistle before the play is off. An illegal procedure against the Hawks. Lines up wide left at the bottom of the screen. The Hawks line up in the eye. And they'll stay on the ground. Kevin Harmon. Harmon is pickup of one. It's third down and 19. Smith lines up in the slot. Single back for the Hawks is Richard Bass. And Paholski on the screen gets it off the pass. He's got room across the 50 and ridden down at midfield. Gary Castrobala angling for the right corner. And it hits out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Right here on Sports Vision. We've got Iowa's winners on table. 8.08 left to play in the first quarter. The Hawks with a 7-0 lead. And the Badgers take over first and 10 at the 17-yard line. He'll just lower the shoulder and uh, deliver a blow himself. So the Badgers are counting on him for a lot this game. Second down and four. So far, the Badgers are 0-2 on third down conversions. Again, Keys will go to the air across the middle. And almost picked off by Kerry Burt. Here is Scott Sapicki from St. Louis. They call him the free spirit of St. Louis, one of the top punters in the country, ranked third nationally, averaging almost 46 yards a punt. A high snap, but he gets an end-over-end kick. Peter Marciano will let it bounce. It takes a Wisconsin bounce across the 40, and they're down it at the 39-yard line. We're seeing it allow some of these running backs an opportunity to, to run behind the huge offensive line. 37-yard punt by Sopecki gives the Hawks the ball at the 39-yard line. Kevin Harmon on the pitch right, and he is stopped at the line of scrimmage. Five. Where's he been? Well, it's his first year starting, so a lot of these players continually getting better and better as they play because this is the first time they've been full-time starters. That offensive line has been able to give the Hawk the Hawkeyes part. And the second penalty against the Hawkeyes, they're limited at that point. Bass and Harmon line up in the eye. Robert Smith in the slot left. And it is Bass straight up the middle, bowling his way across the 40. Mark Missouri in motion lines up in the slot. Maholski looking across the middle. He's got time. He's looking for Jim Morrow. Morrow down to the 20 yard. Hawkins really contributing with some injuries, some academic problems on this Iowa team. Costa Ball at the cut. Nate Odoms calls for the fair catch. It bounces into the end zone. With Bala pushes the Badgers back. At the 20-yard line, Castrovala put it into the end zone. They'll first and 10, and Keys goes to the air across the middle and complete to Reginald Tompkins. Unless the team can do a good job of mixing them up, they catch on as the, 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 the game progresses. Keys getting his first start for the Badgers this year. Started four games last year. He looks to the air, flushed out of the pocket. Keys will run with it, and caught from behind by Joe Mott. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. Four minutes left in the first quarter. Artley finds a hole, breaks it for 12 yards. Dean that time as he took it down to the 43-yard line. The Badgers with their first drive of the ball game. They've been stopped a couple times already by this Iowa defense that is allowing less than one yard per rush this season. It's right to Armitrop. Armitrop jumps over one man, Kyle Crow. No qualms at all about moving him from his fullback spot to tailback in place of Henry. We've got a clipping on the back. They feel they can sprint away from the pressure and find receivers downfield. Brad Kennedy in motion. Now he lines up on the left side. He's across the middle complete. Brad Kennedy, the man in motion. Cornerbacks. The Badgers picked up 16 of that 20 they needed for the first down. This time, Hawkeyes up tight for this one. Third and one. The ball at the 33. The give is to the first man through, Hartley, and he has Dan Worth talking it over with one. There is a chance to knock off 
a top 10 team in Iowa, and of course, no love lost at all between these two teams. Tompkins in motion, first and 10, up at the 16. The short pass is complete at the this season. Hartley and Armantrout in the eye, second and five. Armantrout saw an opening on the right side. Known back for the Badgers is Joe Armantrout. Two receivers wide left. And he's looking into the end zone. Incomplete opportunity for the Badgers. Todd Gregory, number five, and he'll attempt a 20-yarder. Four of eight this year. This one is up and good. So with 20 seconds, that's in three. And the Hawkeyes have to feel good about stop Badgers, as we've talked about before this season. They've had some upsets uh, some, with some top-ranked teams, and the Hawkeyes don't want to fall as one of them. Gregory puts it in play, another squib kick taken by Robert Smith. Smith finds an opening. Robert Smith cuts back, still on his feet, across the 40. And down to the 48 yard line. Give up the body. You see that swipe Gregory took at him? One arm and he was gone. So the Hawks have it first and 10 at the 48. Rick Bayless gets the call. Back with the second quarter after this on Sports Page. He is staying. The whole state of Iowa up in arms for about half a day over that rumor. Second down and four from the 46. And it's Bayless. Bayless down to the 46 yard line pick to making all Big Ten, so the two of them together really pose a, a threat for opposing offenses. Third down and three, Bass is the lone back, and he gets the draw, and Bass does not get the first down. Costabala now is in, the Hawks will give it up. Costabala with a little pooch kick, aiming for the right sideline, and it hits at the 12 yard line was a good confidence builder for them. Let's see if they can continue it. That last punt, 37 yards, and more importantly, no return. Armand Trout, bobbing and weaving, trying to read the experiment, and then backing off, hopefully confusing him and showed, forcing him to go into a wrong read. A loss of one on that last play. Keyes was in trouble, had to dump it off. the middle of the armor drop. Down to the 18 and not enough luck. Now Crow backs off. Sapecki, one of the best punters in the country, and he booms one. Back to Peter Marciano at the 33, and Marciano is smothered at the 36-yard line. 12.03 left in the second quarter. Iowa leads Wisconsin 7-3. The Hawkeyes are 23-point favorite heading into this game, but so far Wisconsin has shown the Badgers many different formations and hopefully finding some openings. Bass getting his second start after the injury to David Hudson. Hudson with a quadricep injury still out of six on third down conversions. Bass and Bayless line up in the eye. Smith is in the slot, bottom right. Iowa goes on the ground. Rick Bayless slashing his way to the 38 as they trade series in terms of punts. Bala booms one, sends Odoms back to the 10-yard line. Odoms, one of the leading punt returners in the Big Ten, and he is smothered at the 22-yard line. First and 10, Bob Healy along with Keith Chappelle from Kennick Stadium in Iowa City on a cool, overcast afternoon. Keys out of the pocket, and he connects with Reginald Tompkins. He's ranked seventh in the Big Ten in passing efficiency. The Hawkeyes have the number one passer in the country, and Mark Vlasic sitting on the sidelines right now. Armantrout, and contributing very big to this Hawkeye defense. Jeff Keppel checks in on third and one. The Hawkeyes up the line. And the call is to Artley. Artley may have got enough for the first down with it. So Picky back at his 16-yard line. Peter Marciano. Is backed up to the 20. Marciano takes it at the 18. He's got no blocking at all. Marciano, 7-3 over the Badgers. 13-yard line. Marciano at the 30. Peter Marciano, the nephew of the late, great prize fighter, Rocky Marciano. So Picky booms another one. Marciano again at the 18. This time he's got some blocking. Across the 20. The 25, and... 
ridden down at the 30-yard line. The quarterback finds himself thrust into the Big Ten opener and shines the AP player of the week. Richard Bass across the 40. Two out of and Bass showing you there why Hayden Fry is very happy with him as a replacement for Dave Hudson. First and 10 for the 43. Bass again. Number 23 pushes his way up to midfield. When you lose a guy the caliber of Dave Hudson, you really can't replace him. But Bass has done a, a great job of filling in. Three receivers in again for Iowa. They go to Bass on second and four. And it really opens up your running game if you have a caliber running back at fullback. And the Hawkeyes have found that in Richard Bass. Marshall Cotton in motion. And the give is to Kevin Harmon. And Har line up in the eye on first down. Bass and Harmon. 5.30 left in the half. It's Harmon again twisting his way down to the 37-yard line. Defensive backs in the Big Ten and he's given Robert Smith a lot of opportunities and let's see if the Hawkeyes go to it. The Holsky looking for Smith and he's got him at the 32-yard line. It's to be Robert Smith and that may poise a, a certain situation for the Hawkeyes to exploit. It's Harmon again, dancing his way to the 28-yard line, but really making him fight for it. Robert Smith now winds up in the slot. Paholski, audible, and he'll go to the air. May have saw some single coverage across the middle. He had Robert Smith wide open, but way overthrown. Third down and eight. And Kevin Harmon. They have dived for less than one yard for the first down. Full house backfield. Cotton is in along with Harmon and Bass. And Kaholski with the fake. In trouble is going to go down at the 28-yard line. Six points, he's telling me. The Hawkeyes give it up at the 28-yard line. 340 left to play. And Iowa's coming on the blitz. And Hartley. Finds an opening off left tackle. They're stopping the Hawkeyes on fourth down there. It could swing the momentum their way. Armitrout with the pitch. And he gets just about to the line of scrimmage. Makes that way. The Badgers need three for the first down. Keys will go to the air across the middle. And it is complete. Bill Williams with a big gain of fourth and being able to capitalize on it. Less than two minutes left, 159. Keys again, deep drop across the middle, complete again. Down to the 18-yard line. So hold on to the ball. They might find some daylight there. Wisconsin with just one timeout left. They're looking for seven. They're picking on Kenny Sims, and incomplete. Ten. And the draw play goes to Artley, and Artley is chopped down. He's not big enough. Here we see the call. Personal foul. Back in field goal range. Three receivers in. Two split wide right. That is where Keys will roll. And wide open across the middle. It's Joe Armitrout. The pass was overthrown. Picked off by Kyle Crow. I'll tell you what, though. If Keys would have had that pass on the money. It had seven all over. Oh, Armitrout is wide open on this play. Not only did Crow come up with the interception, but they also had a personal foul on Armand Trot. But here you see Key spotting. Armand Trot is wide open at about the 10-yard line. He overthrows the ball very, very poorly. And on top of it, they trot off. Uh, here we see the refs trotting off 15 yards for a personal foul. They're going to assess to Armand Trot in hitting, as in this one is no different. Robert Smith is in. He is wide right. And the Hawks will run on first down. Armand. Very, very happy with the play now. They're facing a Hawkeye team that comes in here 10th ranked in the country, and they've played them down for down. Iowa going now without a huddle. The clock's still going for 29 seconds. They try the pitch. The pass was complete at the 28-yard line. To, to catch that ball, I'll tell you what, though. If that play works, Harmon is gone. Seeing the clock is started, Iowa may not even get a playoff. And they will not. That is the end of the first half. Iowa with a four-point lead over the Badgers coming into this game. Iowa was a 23-point favorite. So the Hawks will take just a four-point lead, 7-3, into the locker room at halftime. The Hawkeyes will receive Kevin Harmon and Robert Smith are back deep at the 10-yard line.
and Robert Smith lets it sail over his head into the end zone. Lackluster performances, and let's see if they come out with a spark here on their first series. Bass and Harmon in the backfield to start the second half, and it is Harmon. After the first down, it's first and 10 at the 30. And does a good job on flare passes, so they're looking to see him back and able to go the full game. Robert Smith in motion, lines up in the slot now. Baholski will check off. Second and six. The Badgers coming with some extra pressure. And this pass intended for Mark Mazzari. Wide receiver, Smith. And Mazzari, wide right. Double tied in. And it is Bass. Short of the first down to the 38. A flag down in the backfield. Flag is. Appears that it is against Iowa. Wisconsin four times for 45 yards. Number 27 is Gary Costabala. He'll putt from his 35. And the ball takes an Iowa bounce across the 20. Still going down to the 14-yard line. Half he was 8 of 15 for 112 yards. Threw two interceptions in that first half. Armantrout and Artley in the backfield. It's Armantrout. Second and four for the 20. And Keyes checks off. And the ball is loose. And picked off by the Hawkeyes. Tyrone Campbell across the 35-yard line. And it appears that Joe Mott came up with the loose football. Number 97, Mott from Endicott, New York. This is the Wisconsin Badger running back Larry Emery back into the ball game. I thought that was him on the initial play. Crow just does a good job of popping the ball loose and uh, Mott comes up with the recovery. This is a big, if so, it's right in the Hawkeyes' favor. Joe Mott playing the best football of his career, according to Hayden Fry. The Hawks will have it in excellent field position at the 37. Robert Smith had it in, just took his concentration off at the last minute and didn't come up with it. Second down of 10, the draw. Kevin Harmon picks up eight. Bass and Morrow check out. It is third down and two. Tight formation, double tied in for the Hawks. And Iowa does not get enough for the first down. Don line, it'll be a 39-yard attempt by Houtman. And it is long enough, but it is no good. Wide left. So the Badgers hold with 11.23 left in the third quarter. It is Iowa 7, Wisconsin 3. Over first and 10 after 29. 7-3 ball game here in Iowa City. Keys, plenty of time, and he will not be able to find a receiver. And, and thus we have a seven-yard loss. Great defensive play by the total Hawk defense. Second down and 17. And the misdirection play. With a potent running attack. Emory's second team all Big Ten last year. Hasn't played in two weeks because of a hamstring pull. He's rolling across the middle complete at the 40 yard line. Very, very tough. First and 10 at the 40. And it is Emory. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Wisconsin backfield. Second down and 10. Again, Keys will go to the air. He's in trouble. Gets it off across the middle, intended for Tompkins. He picked off quite a few of those all season. Big defensive play for the Hawks. Third and 10. Iowa in a zone in that secondary. And the pass is complete to Tompkins. Team catch of the season. He's averaging almost 15 yards a catch. And it is Emory on the ground, down to the 18-yard line. We so a lot of the play action passes will have a lot more potent power in keeping the Hawkeye defense honest. Second down and seven. It's Armantrout. And Armantrout goes nowhere. Third and six. Kennedy in motion. Now Tompkins, wide left, and looking into the right corner. And the pass is intended for Kennedy. Which situations to throw the ball because the receiver was open on that play. Gregory with the 27-yard attempt. It's long enough, and it is good. 
So with just a one-point lead for the Hawkeyes, and it could very easily be 6-0. Wisconsin giving up a fumble deep in their own end early in the ball. Brother also plays on this team with a finger injury. Dan McGuire, the freshman from California, is also available, but Paholski has gone the entire way. And across the middle, he's got Morrow at the 40-yard line for a big gator for the Hawkeyes. That Badger territory and in great field position. Morrow has been the big play man, averaging over 20 yards a catch. And it is Richard Bass, slant right. About two or three steps on every Badger, streaking down the field. Robert Smith lines up in the slot. Iowa goes with one setback. And it is Richard Bass. Bass. Game Iowa with three backs lined up. Now Cotton in motion. The pitch goes to Bayless. And Rick Bayless crosses the 30, has a first down for Iowa. They have been stopped on third down by the Badgers, but not this time. First to 10 from the 29. And it is Rick Bayless still on his feet. He's got a lot of room left side. Bayless down the eight yard line. First and goal for Iowa from the seven. And it's straight up the middle. This time Bayless can go nowhere. You're playing right into the heart of this Badger defense. They're inside linebackers. Bayless and Bass in the backfield. They'll block. And across the middle, it was Mark. It is 7-6 with four minutes, two seconds left to play. Third and seven. Paholski rolls right. And Mark Cook, the intended receiver. Oh, the thing we talked about, this Badger defense has played very stingy to the hosting Hawkeyes. Outland missed ball games last year with last minute field goals. And this one is good. To this Badger offense. George Murphy will kick up for the Hawkeyes. And again, a low line of the Hawkeyes have been going to that kick the last three, four games. It's Dan Kistling and Nate Odoms are deep. Odoms, one of the top return men in the country. They'll try to kick it away from him if they can. But it is Kistling, yes, Kistling with the return. And he crosses the 35 out to the 38-yard line. The 39. Joe Arm, the Badgers are putting on with their pitches and their rollout passes. Second down and eight. Keys will go to the air. And the pitted receiver was Brent Kennedy. Effort to throw. Iowa shifting on the line, trying to confuse Bud Keyes. Third down and eight. Keyes is in trouble and just dumps it off to Brad Kennedy. Kennedy is top the sideline. It looked like he took a, a shot. And it is a clip against the Badgers. At the 10-yard line, Scott Sapecki, one of the top punters in the country, will kick. Last 12 games, Sapecki has hit at least one punt for over 50 yards. He angles this one down the left sideline. It bounces the quarterback, the AP Offensive Player of the Week for the Hawkeyes. That big game he had against Michigan State. The give is to Bayless, and Bayless goes nowhere. Very high in the draft next year. Hawks line up with two wide receivers left. Got to stay on the ground. Rick Bayless climbs over a couple of Badgers. Three backs in for Iowa. Grant Goodman checks in along with Bayless. And it is Bayless for the first down. Bayless and Bass line up in the eye. Again, it is Bayless picking, weaving his way across the 30 to the 32. You know, that's one of the sports for that extra two or three yards we talk about. This is Bass. Picks First and 10 from the 39. Richard Bass fights his way for a tough one. Count uh, the stability that's in the Big Ten. These teams, uh, although they may not have the one loss record, can on any given day, as the old slogan goes, beat anybody. And for Holsky, plenty of time. He's throwing it all. Robert Smith's got it in out of his hands. Paholski going for the home run. He's in seven. Paholski, six of 12 for 83 yards this afternoon. And he goes short to Rick Bayless. Bayless, good for the Hawks. Goodman, Bass, 
Line up with Bayless. And it is Richard Bass for the first down. And Bowers has got such great leg drive that he never even looked up. He ran that ball just like a sprinter out of, out of starting blocks. Richard Bass, just 5'9 from Omaha. Boholsky checks off, tries to go to Jim Morrow. Only been able to get 10 points on the board. And Wisconsin handing some of those to them early. Rick Bayless stopped at the 44. Boholsky will throw. Still has time. And it is picked off. Nate Odoms. Check that. It is number 36. Keith Browning with the interception. It looked like Boholsky was hit. Yeah, this he play, let go of the ball. This play, you see there, as Boholsky winds up and throws, he has his arm hit because this ball just flutters. He was attempting to go to Robert Smith. Browning in the zone picks it off and... First to 10 from the 35. And it is Emery. Long, controlled plays that have eaten up quite a bit of the clock because here we find ourselves in the fourth quarter, but they just haven't been able to punch it over for any major score. And again, it is Emery. The Hawks, third and two at the 43. See if they go to Hartley. Emery and Hartley line up in the eye. And the pitch is to Emery. And Emery. May not have gotten it. The ball game on short yardage. Iowa lining up with nine people on the line. The give is to the second man through Emory, and he may not have made it. The Hawkeyes are signaling that he did not make it. First and 10 for the 45, and I'll tell you, Larry Emory has sparked this club playing in the second half. They're looking deep for Tompkins, and Tompkins is turned around and a flag down on. A great call by the official. If the fans didn't like it, uh, be, that's another area that the Patriots may want to attempt to go after the Hawkeyes at. First and 10 from the 40. The Badgers line up in the eye with Emory and Hartley. And it is Emory trying to get outside, and he is stopped. The referee just wants to call it. He keeps getting help from two different officials. There it is. Okay. Looks like all setting penalties. You can't hear. The Hawks show blitz and then back off. It's first and 10 at the 30. Play action pass. Keys has got time. Little short pass is complete to the 24-yard line. They're walking down in three at the 23-yard line. Tompkins is wide right. Wisconsin stays on the ground to arm and drop. We'll go with five and defensive front. And Wisconsin is putting it up. And the ball is thrown short and cleared for the seven on third. Now they still need one on fourth and one. Look for Keyes to take it himself. And he tries to, may not have gotten it. Keyes is pushed back and I don't know, have held on fourth and one. Final, nine minutes and 10 seconds on sports vision. First and 10 for the 20, it's Bayless. And he picks up two, maybe three yards out to the 23. Paholsky still in at quarterback for the Hawks. And he'll roll right. Now across the middle, incomplete. Smith is in along with Morrow. Smith is wide left at the bottom of your screen. Morrow wide right. Third and seven. And the Badgers are coming after Boholsky. And he finds Morrow. And it is enough for the first down. Morrow got that. This is a big first down for the Hawkeyes. Boholsky checks off on first and ten. He'll look short and right. Complete. Jim Morrow, I'll stand up and go by you. Second down and one, Marshall Cotton is in. And the give is to Richard Bass out of the two-yard line, and nobody saw it. First and 10 from the 45. The Hawks go with three wide receivers, but it is Bass on the ground, and he crosses midfield into Wisconsin. Clock continues to tick. This is a big drive. 
640 left to play. And a big hole for Bass. Trip on the clock, so Iowa using some of that valuable time on the clock. First and 10 from the 41, and the draw play. Again, the call is to Bass, and he picks up four or five yards. The line is a huge front line, and they work well together, and they're allowing these holes to open up. Second down and four. Rick Bayless finds some running room, and he picks up another first down for Iowa. So Richard Bass doing the bulk of the work in this drive. The Hawkeyes have worked the clock down to five minutes. Polsky checks off. And he'll go to the air. He's got Morrow. Jimmy Morrow out of bounds at the 19-yard line. Number 30 checks in. Again, three backs in for the Hawks. And it is Bass breaking the line of scrimmage down to the 10-yard line. Oh, Marshall Cotton now is in the backfield. And it is Bass again down to the four-yard line. Field goal puts them in a situation where they could be tied. Second down and one. And it is Bass bouncing outside. May not have gotten it. Big defensive play for the Badgers. Third and one. Cotton checks in along with Cook. And it is Bayless over for the score. goes over the top from three yards out and gives the Hawkeyes some breathing room. Big, big score by Bayless. Watch him take airborne here. Just giving it everything he's got. This is what the one thing the Hawkeyes love about Rick Bayless is he sells out on every play. He gave up his body there and knew he was going to get hit before, well before he hit the ground. He went airborne and came up with six points for the Hawkeyes. Rob Howland in for the point after. Bolts out to a 17 to 6 lead. We'll be back. Allen had been limited just a point after the field goal. And Allen drives Wisconsin back to the one yard line. Kistling takes it across the 15, tries to get outside, still on his feet, and he'll go down at the 24 yard line. Key's still in the quarterback. And he will go to the air. He's looking for Tompkins, complete. And the Hawkeyes will try to keep him from getting out of bounds. Out of bounds, and thus save some time on the clock here. Across the middle, the short one to Emery. Good warm-ups. First down, though, it's first and 10 from the 35. 2.30 left to play. Keaton Smiley is now in the ball game. Now, job all was in there, but now they're attempting to go with a little more experience this late in the game. He's scrambling. They're looking for Tompkins. And Tompkins comes down with it. What an amazing catch. Very difficult balls and coming back on that one on Keaton Smiley. The clock running, 205 left. Keys rolls right. He's going to have to get rid of it. And he just punches it out to Joe Armitrout. And Armitrout fights his way out of bounds. Because the Iowa band starting to celebrate. It may be a little premature. Uh, yeah, because if they get out of this game, they got out of it with the skin off their teeth before left. It is second down and 12. The ball at the 29-yard line. Keys just gets rid of it inside, and it is picked off in the end zone. Keaton Smiley, the man who had gotten burned on the last play, comes up with the big interception in the end zone. We talked about why you insert a Keaton Smiley. And he, although injured, Keaton Smiley has a lot of experience, and he played this ball perfectly in coming back, snatching it right in front of Bill Williams and nullifying the clock. First and 10 after 20. Now the give is to the Bass, the first man through, left to play. The ball at the 22. And Iowa will stay on the ground, understandably. But they don't stand to lose that in this game, allowing only six to a stingy Badger team. Third down and four. And Bass picks up the first down, and that will put the lid on it. The Iowa running back, the line Paholsky, time to get off the throws that 
that he's needed to make and really allowing the whole thing to happen for the Hawkeyes. Bass again, stopped by Raddatz. And the clock continues to tick. 15 seconds left. And now the crowd here at Kinnick Stadium on their feet, giving the Hawkeyes a standing O. Iowa will go to 5-0, and o, the Badgers. 1-5 next up for the Hawkeyes. Big, big matchup.